I just found a special deal at uh, Joann's the other day where they were having some of their Heidi Swap stamps, clear stamps, on sale for $4.99. So it's a steal. So I'm using the Valentine's Day stamp set as well as the um, Thank You Sentiments stamp sets, all for $4.99. I've already pre-stamped everything, um, so I've got, uh, this is a heart, and I'll just be coloring it in with some Copic markers. I'm using R59, R22, and E21 for this. And I'm just coloring in just a little bit, and then we'll blend it in just a minute. I stamped it with VersaFine ink and embossed it with clear embossing powder. Um, and I prefer VersaFine or Memento ink because it really works good at making a nice crisp bold image with my clear stamps. And I'm just coloring over the top of the dark burgundy color and we'll um, add the highlight with the light tan color in just a second. Doesn't take very long to do this since they're just little dots. And this is just coloring in the edge, making everything blend together. Gives it really good dimension. Looks kind of like little pearly kind of things on the top when it's done. Alright, then I'm going to cut it out. And tip for cutting turn your paper, not your scissors. And hold them at a slight angle. That way you won't have um, any sharp edges showing. You'll have nice smooth edges. That's done. I'm going to attach a sentiment uh, or a pop dot. And I'll leave that aside. I'm going to stamp uh, with the VersaFine the sentiment, the thank you sentiment. And then I will heat set it and emboss it with clear embossing powder. The next step is to apply the heart to the edge. And also apply it to um, actually I want to use a different kind. Mm, where did it go? Is it? Where did it go? No. Oh, I hate that when that happens. 
found it on the floor underneath me. Okay, so I'm using a piece of uh, paper that was from a card pack from Target uh, last year for Valentine's Day. And I just used my um, sandpaper to just rub it and make it a little distressed. Um, but the kits that I'm going to have on my Etsy shop will not have the distressing. If you choose to do that yourself, you can. <clears throat> so I'm going to just lay this um, nice and evenly along that with some tape. And everything that you get in the kit will already be pre-stamped and uh, colored for you. So you don't have to worry about that. All you have to do is assemble it. All right, the next step is to um, apply uh, the top to the card base. And I've cut a piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock, craft cardstock, um, 4.5 uh, or 4 and a quarter wide, so it's the long way. And I'm just putting it on the side. And I'll just assemble it. And the next step is to just take my scissors and cut a little strip out for the ribbon. Usually I use um, a piece of a mat knife or something, but I didn't have one next to me, so I use my scissors. I'm just using brown grow gray, grow grain ribbon, and I always turn my cards upside down. To, when I tie, that way the ribbon will be right side up. That's another tip for you. And it's too uh, loose. I don't like loose ribbon. So I'm going to tie a little tighter. Pull them nice and sweet. Make my ribbon nice and cute. Make the little things go down. in the bow down. And there you have it. Uh, like I said before, you can uh, purchase this kit uh, at my Etsy shop. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day.